Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos and today we're continuing our Leicester City career mode. This is the content made by the fans for the fans. I just made that one up there and hope you liked it. So as you can see, the, um, we're into, we've got one game, one game left of January now. So hopefully, and this will be the last game on Legendary Difficulty and then we go into uh, February where I'm playing Aston Villa so I've got Crystal Palace and Aston Villa in this episode for you guys um, hopefully it's going to be a very decent one it might only be half an hour or so this one because obviously I'm only playing two games so uh, by the way last episode guys I'm sorry I only managed to get one playing video out I played one game and simulated another against Fulham and I did lose 5-0 in that one to Liverpool so we have dropped off some form but Manchester United still two points behind us. Wolves four points behind us. We the the front three, the first three are kind of pulling away from us now. I've got a transfer off of four so aren't you here? Twenty eight mil is not enough. It keeps decreasing, uh, and I don't even know, really know why because he is still growing. He's twenty four years old. Um, there. So hopefully we can get this win against Crystal Palace. It's our final game on Legendary of at least the first season. So hopefully you guys have seen what Legendary has done to me. As you can tell, I did get the one win. Um, obviously, I won the two cup games, but that was simulated. So the three games I played, I won against Manchester United 3-2. I lost 3-0 to Brighton. I also lost 5-0 to Liverpool. So as you can tell, uh, Le Legendary Difficult really has kind of uh, made me lose a few more games. So if this whole career was on Legendary, I feel like I'd probably be finishing somewhere in the bottom half of the table maybe even fighting relegation and that's probably less realistic than actually uh fighting for top four in my eyes roma have offered 36 mil i'm still going to reject it um but 36 mil is getting to a better better price tag there so we're at the crystal palace game now we as you can see there, Manchester United are playing Liverpool, and I'm kind of hoping Liverpool do take points off Manchester United, because uh, then Manchester United obviously don't get a win, and we so we'll still be ahead of them. So has anyone else gone up another rating? No, no one else has gone up a rating. No one else has gone down a rating either. As you can see, that probable lineup there for Crystal Palace. I've got Joe Lolly from Nottingham Forest out on the right there, decent player. Eric Dyer, it looks like the ball. Uh, Oliveira, decent player as well, I think. Van Anthop playing on the left in the left mid position. So they've got a nice 4-4-2. Obviously, our, ours is a 4-3-3. So they could probably dominate me out wide and in the midfield areas. But we are going to get... We are going to play the first game of this episode. Um, hopefully for you guys, we are going to get a win. I've actually forgot to set my timer. So I'm just going to set that for... Uh, I will just set it for six minutes because I don't really want to risk it. Uh, I really don't want to risk it, but we'll, we'll probably play the first half and then uh, we'll have to save it up. So, uh, Adama just doing path to goal here. Uh, this path to goal is a pretty weird one. Um, I'm just going to get started straight away here then. Jamie Vardy's still the top scorer. I think he's about seven ahead of Mo Salah, who... I think Mo Salah's got 19, has he? Uh, if you saw it right at the beginning of the episode, go back and pause it. Because it, yeah, I think he was either on 17 or 19. He might have been on 18 as well. But uh, I, he looks like he's going to run away with the golden boot now. But especially if they score a goal or two here today. Tillemans plays it out wide. As we kick off going left to right, Ricardo Pereira on the ball to Adama. I do like this Crystal Palace away kit. It looks pretty nice. Uh, I mean, it's it's probably not as good as the home kit. I do like the Crystal Palace home kits. Oh, that's gone a bit too far there. James Justin's ball. Obviously, pretty much all my team is younger. Maybe apart from Johnny Evans and Kasper Schmeichel. Uh, but goalkeepers don't really need to be young. Because they don't really decrease in rating that much. I mean, Jamie Vardy's old as well. But the majority of my team is pretty young, and if they and if they're not if they're not young, they are still good. Uh, so, I mean, players like Kasper Schmeichel, I'm not really going to play a younger keeper there right now, am I? 
Uh, Vardy loses the ball. Eric Dyer's there, I think. It is Eric Dyer. Gabriel. I don't know, is that that Gabriel from Arsenal? Not, not the centre back that they just signed. I swear down, uh, Arsenal had a Gabriel before, but not. Lolly. Um, so Arsenal were, as you can see just a minute ago, as Arsenal are eighth in the table, which is utter shocking. You've got to say that's pretty shocking. Where's Schmeichel come out? Luckily, he did come out, actually. I, th I thought I did the wrong thing by bringing him out for a second there. But I did do the right thing, as you can see there. Jamie Vardy's been played through. Can we get a goal? Oh, Guaita with the save. Nine times out of ten, Jamie Vardy would punish that one. Uh, and that was a great through ball from Adama Traore. Just couldn't find the finishing touch. So you can see Adama here. He's going to take the shot on, but Milivojevic blocks it. James Justin out wide there. So, yeah, on my uh, cousin's career mode, they are pretty much challenging for the title there Arsenal um, but here on my Karuma they are 8th which is really underperforming I mean they're not underperforming as much as uh, Chelsea are I think Chelsea are like ninth or 10th so um, that's even worse to be fair um, and especially with the signings Chelsea do have it, it, they shouldn't really be there I, I think Newcastle Newcastle are challenging for the Europa League I think I'm not really sure, but they were doing actually pretty decent. I think I've done the double over them this season, though. Uh, so, I'm happy that this is the last game on Legendary, but I don't really want to break my word uh, for you guys. I said I would do the whole of January on Legendary difficulty, and I have done. I can't remember whether I did um, the Forest Green game. Yeah, I did do the Forest Green game on Legendary difficulty, but I did simulate that, so it didn't really matter as much. Harvey Barnes, terrible shot there. Um, but I'm happy to have the Aston Villa game on World Class because I should get the win there. I mean, I did lose to Aston Villa earlier in the season. And I think I was at home as well, so that makes it even worse. But I've got them away from home next. And despite me losing to them earlier in the season, I think that was probably just a bit of a one-off. And we can probably take the win in uh, now. Madison puts one-handed save again by Guaiti. We are piling the pressure on Crystal Palace here. Whipped into the area. It was a very, very good cross in there by Madison. It's looking like another decent ball. It is a decent ball. It's flicked on by their defender, actually. And that's why he just heads it out for a throw in to me. Uh, Ricardo Pereira. It to Medidi. Back to Ricardo Pereira. As so many throw-ins, they are like that. You just throw them back. I mean, you do just pass them back to the thrower. Uh, I don't know why uh, Madison didn't have an attempt at that. He probably should have had an attempt at that. But I brought Soyuncu out. I don't really want to send him back now because that looks... But now he's out of position. He's going to try and take over from James Justin out wide. And uh, they have got a free kick. Sayuchu was a bit too aggressive there. But it does give him a chance to get back into position now. That's going to travel through to Schmeichel. I thought he might bounce over him for a second there, but keepers in uh, FIFA aren't, aren't that bad. Or most of the time they aren't that bad. And that's Gabriel on the ball. Evans. And now Crystal Palace win it back. Batshuayi. Gabriel, Jordan, are you? Gabriel, and they've taken the lead. The one chance they've had, and they've scored 40 seconds before half t the halftime whistle goes. It is that guy that I don't even know who he is really. Gabriel, he just oh, blasts it directly straight, and it goes past Schmeichel there. We do try and get the game going again before half time. That is the half-time whistle. It does blow, and we don't really... We, we're not really looking comfortable. I mean, I mean, before they scored, you would have said we were looking better, right? That is my timer going as well, guys. So I'm just going to save it up here. Lift it up. I'm just going to reset my timer. Um, I don't want it for six minutes. I'll put it for 12 minutes this time. So we should get... Uh, definitely the end of this game. So Arsenal are winning. Chelsea are winning two... Uh, Spurs are drawing with Brighton, which is probably good for me.
I do like that tune in the background, if you can hear it, with Vipers. It's one of my favourite. I think it's probably my third favourite one. Uh, I do like Stop This Flame. That's my favourite one. And also Troubles Come In, if you know any of them, is my second favourite one there. Um, and I, I don't know how they've got a free kick there. Really, I didn't do anything. I personally didn't do anything wrong. My player probably did a challenge. Afterwards, right, we kicked off the second half, obviously, as you can see. So, aren't you? Justin, infield two and Didi out to Telemans, and Adama's going to use his pace back to Telemans. Oh, it strikes the post once. Oh, we just can't seem to get past Guaita. Either he saves it or it's hit the woodwork now. So unfortunate. Telemans probably should have done a little bit better with that shot, at least getting it on target. But unfortunately for us, and that it has come off Ricardo Pereira there last, and it is going to be a corner to Crystal Palace. I don't really want a defeat to Crystal Palace, but you know, it's on legendary difficulty, so I kind of expect to lose in most of these games on legendary difficulty. So as you can see, if we do lose to Crystal Palace, we've only picked up three points in four games in January. In the Premier League. Aubameyang has gone to Barcelona. And I think Aubameyang was really rivaling um, Jeremy Vardy for Golden Boot this season. But now he's gone to Barcelona in the January transfer window. And Jeremy Vardy looks like he's running away with it now. Mo Salah's a second. The, ne the next tie is to him. Pass to Ricardo Pereira. Out to Adama Traore. Plays it back Come into Telemans. This should be a chance for an equaliser. I've got to say. Guaita again with another save. Put it in. Oh, come on. This is the sort of stuff that really puts me in a bad mood and pees me off. Seriously. Guaita has just been so good today. I'm just not going to beat him at all, am I? Pereira out to... Brighton have actually scored against Spurs. It's actually 1-0 to Brighton there, which is probably good for me. Florian Andone with the goal. But they'll probably go and score a second here. What? That was a decent pass there from Batshuayi. As you can see, we are away from home against Aston Villa next game on February the 7th. So that, that's one of my friends' birthday. That, I'm going to tell you who he is. Um, that is one of my friends' birthday there. So should, I'm going to I'm gonna do that win for him. He won't, he will probably, he won't watch his channel. Because he doesn't really um, like football, but right. Michael with the save. Home. If I do win next game, that wins for you. If I lose, uh, that's not for you. <laughs> uh, Madison, Vardy. Vardy. Oh, through to Telemans, but he's not going to reach him. Eric Dyer's is going to get there. I am going to have to go ultra attacking now. Goal difference is going to be a problem because I am probably going to concede another two or three now, aren't I? Obviously, because whenever I go ultra attacking on legendary difficulty, I seem to concede. Because I think I was losing 2-0 to Liverpool and I thought, oh, I've got to try and get myself back into this game. And then I conceded three goals because of that. It's a good ball to Madison and it's blocked. But Madison dinks it home on the rebound. I mean, you could say it's a rebound. You might say it's not a rebound. We finally get the equaliser that we have been pushing for. And you've got to say, I mean, most of you, if you're not biased, then most of you will out there be probably saying I do deserve this. Uh, but I am going to go back down onto the f balance now. I probably could have kept it on ultra attacking. Um because as soon as I put it on ultra attack and I scored really but can we hold out for a draw now uh, or can we even push for a win I really don't want to concede again though it's my main aim not conceding again oh he's offside isn't he of course Adama of course he's offside he's too fast in that situation Dennis Pryor up to 79 rating he's now coming on for James Madison Head it out, get it out. Well, and Didi to Telemans there. Iannaccio out to Harvey Barnes on the far side. I can't play it through because he shoved me off the ball once again. 
I'm not shoved me off the ball. He just blocks my run from getting well, there. The we will have two, extra minutes. two minutes is of added field. time. Adama the out wide. Have we got one last chance? Clearly not because he gets tackled. He has been pretty floppy. He has been a much of a flop this season there. The half-time whistle, I mean the full-time whistle, sorry, does go. We managed to pick up a draw. As you can see, the Leicester fans are not very happy. The first half of the season, we looked a special side, maybe replicating the 2015-16 to 16 season. But since I put it on Legendary and we have, uh, we've only picked up four points in four games, we look to have fallen off a little bit. We'll have to see if Manchester United did get a result against Liverpool. Uh, we did lose 5-0, so hopefully they lost quite a bit as well. Uh, well, we're on the final day here. I'm debating whether to buy just another cheap guy to see if I can. Uh, I'm just going to go one last time onto the transfer hub, see if there's anyone I want to get. I was thinking Willock, but I'm not really sure now. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry guys, that was half, like a half, uh, something, half, something else. Alright, so he's still the same, but I'm going to run out of, uh, I can't really go in for him, really. Cockroyette looks very decent player, uh, might have to go in for him. Probably not now, yeah, not now, but, and plus he's a midfielder, so I probably don't really want to go in for him. Maybe Mukiele, uh... Uh, after after the end of the season, but probably not. Uh, so there's only a few players I'd like. There's none that I want now, so I am just going to simulate up to that Aston Villa game because that's just going to. Well, I'll simulate up to here in case I get any messages. I'll stop it now. Uh, so we are going to go back. Yeah, we will have some stuff in the office telling me. Oh, I got another offer for Soyuncu. Leverkusen, they always do it like a day late or something, 38 million, that's quite a bit, he's gone up a rating as you can see there, 82 now, a uh, youth squad monthly report, I am going to go and check this out, see if anyone else has upgraded a bit more, Dylan Driscoll, obviously up to a 64 rating now, he's gone up, and Derson has obviously gone up again, he's up to a 65, decent potential still there, none of these guys' potentials are 80, I mean, in the 90s anymore, but the more well-rounded, like, least, uh, Lloyd Mason is now a minimum of 82, it's saying. Minimum of 81, Derson. This guy's a minimum of 80. So it all depends on how much I do train them up. Uh, they, they all have either, they all have a minimum between 70 and 80, so no one's gonna get lower than 70, really, there, as you can see. But that's it for that Manchester United did they lose yeah Manchester United did lose as we grab a point Wolves did manage to beat their opponents so they're now two points behind me Manchester United three points behind me so I am gonna I'm, I'm just gonna save it up now because I've only got three minutes left on my timer saved it up I'll just go and start that again so, we're going to go over two settings, and I hate myself for doing this, but I have to do it, otherwise we are going to keep dropping off, and I'm not quite ready for Legendary yet, I did want to just keep trying it for a bit longer, if, if, I, if I did well on it, but as you can see, four points in four games isn't the greatest, I mean, we did, didn't have the easiest run in, but we lost 3-0 to Brighton, and we only managed a one all draw with Crystal Palace there, the FA Cup, I got a bit more money there, uh, who's my next round opponent for the FA Cup, actually? I'll go and check that out. Uh, I got Reading away. Away at Reading in the next round of the FA Cup. I think that might be the fourth round or the fifth round, actually. Uh, so we're getting to the business end of that trophy. But that's not for another month. So... Um, I don't know. If I play this Aston Villa game now, I don't know whether to simulate that Europa League game. Uh, at the end of this episode, or at the start of next episode, because I'm going to simulate it, but I don't know when, so, as you can see there, Science you the only person that's gone up a rating, uh, they've obviously got Jovino, some decent players, Aston Villa there, it's just a decent team, surprised they're not playing Emmy Martinez, but, you know, this is a 1.30 kickoff, is it a Sunday, it might actually be a Sunday if it's a 1.30 kickoff, but I am not sure. I'm just going to go and check. 
So there is now a video out. I just went to check um, uh, if there was a video, if my video had uploaded from earlier. And it has done now. So five minutes ago it uploaded at this point now. So if you want to go check that one out, I recommend you doing it before watching this one. But obviously if you are watching this one, you've either gone and checked it out before... Oh, you've already started watching this episode, so you kind of know what happened last episode anyway. So, ignore me, I guess, there a little bit. So, we've got this Aston Villa game. Hopefully, we can grab a win. We've put it back down to world class. So, because I'm not quite ready for the step up. I might just have to play uh, another career, but keep it on world class. I mean, legendary for the whole thing, just so I can train myself on legendary a bit. Um... But Jamie Vardy, Kalinic with a good save after five minutes. Yeah, I did say uh, in the last game, Aston Villa did beat me. Oh, so don't you. Even though he's upgraded in overall by one uh, there just a game ago. It's poor header with his head there. Yeah, so last time I played Aston Villa, we did lose 3-2, if you can remember that, remember that far back. I think it was 3-2 anyway. I know we did lose to Sheffield United 3-2, but I think we also lost to Aston Villa 3-2 as well. Manchester United have moved up to fourth. They do have a better goal difference than us, and I'm talking too much as Watkins scores to put Aston Villa in front. So, as I was saying, Manchester United must have beaten their opponents, and they must have a better goal difference than me because they are up to fourth. If Wolves won as well, then I, I am down to sixth. But if I can get a result against Aston Villa, which doesn't look likely now, to be fair, because this is just a stupid way, FIFA. Because Aston Villa is so annoying. Look at Watkins here. Good save, Schmeichel. It's just so annoying. How did he break through again there? I'm not concentrating enough. Derek, I still can't believe that didn't go in. What a save. Oh, Tyrone Mings is there. I, I know Aston Villa are having a good season and that, but there's no way they should be doing the double over me this year. I mean, I know I'm away from home and stuff, but really, they are dominating me in this game, and they probably do deserve to be leading. But I don't know how they're dominating me. They're not. They haven't even got a good squad on them, really. Adama. Vardy into Adama Traore. Skips plus one, skips plus two. Left footed. Why, man? Why do I take the long shot? And then Tielemann's gone back and got booked there. This is not looking like a good day at the office, and we've only played 24 minutes. I'm still a bit deflated because earlier today I did record last episode as well. And so I'm still deflated about that 5-0 defeat to Liverpool. I don't think it should have been 5-0. But, you, you know, you can't really dwell on the past as much. You've got to keep looking forward. And maybe we, we shouldn't have been in the, cha in the Champions League position uh, for as long as we were anyway. Obviously, we did get off to a pretty good start to the season. And the first half of the season was really good. But now are our expectations kicking in? And are we now going to start dropping? Is reality going to kick in for us? And are we going to start dropping some points here and there? Madison. He's considering re retirement. Jakubovic there. Madison. Shot is blocked once again. My God. I can't even get a shot away nowadays. They just sit back with like five at the back. It's so annoying. I don't even think they have five at the back. But if they do, I'm really peed off about that. No, no, surely they can't do. I think they've got a four-three-three like me. But you know, Barkley brings it forward, of course. So you can't get the tackle in. Schmeichel with a good save. Shouldn't even have got that far, to be fair. Tielemans. And it pace to Adama Traore. I don't really know what to do. Could I swing a ball back to Tielemans? Yes, I can. And this time I do level. Tielemans, the man on the yellow card. I thought he was going to kick it straight at the defender, and I was going to be about. I was going to be really fuming then. 
Look, I thought he was going to kick it at the defender, but he just evaded him with the shot. And it managed to find the back of the net. Thank the Lord. And are we now going to go on and take the three points? Because uh, I'm not really going to settle for a draw here. Really not. Uh, 43 minutes on the clock. Just before half time, we do find the equaliser. We've been pushing quite a bit. It probably does deserve to be level going into half time. If I'm gonna, if I'm not gonna lie to you, so that should be half time any second now. And that is half time. I don't know why the referee was really delaying playing it, blowing his whistle there, but he does blow it now. And neither team goes into the break with an advantage. We do find the equaliser just before half time. Um, four minutes left on my timer, guys. So I am just gonna start the second half. Chelsea obviously playing Sheffield United net. Uh, not now, but later on today. Chelsea do need something to light their season. And at the moment, it doesn't even look like they're going to hit the Europa League. And they'd have been aiming for the Champions League, obviously, at the start of the season. But they've kind of had a really, really poor season. Uh, but Harvey Barnes plays Jamie Vardy through there. He shipped into the area. Kalinic out with a punch. If Kalinic didn't come out, that was pretty much a tap-in, really, for someone like Harvey Barnes. Tyrone Mings. Mings to McGinn there. So oh, it's a great ball over the top, but I fouled him, of course. Saul has gone to Liverpool. See, that's exactly why I don't really like playing like a Liverpool and a Man City career, because they have so much money, they just buy loads of players, and they're literally like, it's literally like FIFA Ultimate Team, really. Because that's also why I don't play Ultimate Team, because I just find it unrealistic. But other players will obviously disagree with me, because that's probably why they play FIFA. But I play FIFA because of career mode, and I like the indulgement in career. Are you kidding me, mate? Get up. Oh, what? He was just sat on the floor. I kicked at his head. I literally kicked it at his head, and now James Justin's giving him the ball. What an idiot. I hate this game sometimes. But obviously the majority of the time I absolutely love this game because um, have you ever seen a game with good graphics like this? Obviously yes, but that's not the point. Jamie Vardy's been played in behind. Don't be offside. He's not offside. And of course, when he was one-on-one, -on -one, I was debating sweating it, but then what if I didn't muck up the sweaty... So I did just decide to take the shot on. Out comes the eagle with Jamie Vardy there. Look, I was debating sweating it, really. But then I didn't know whether I was going to mess up while passing to Madison. So I did just try to slot it past him. And I did do bottom corner. We've turned it around here at Villa Park. And we do now have the lead. So hopefully... I think I might... I, might, I know what my uh, episode might... I can't even get my words out. I think I might know what the uh, title for the episode will be. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys, although you probably will know, because you'll have clicked on this video and you will know. Um, I might call it reality click kicking in, but that's only if we don't manage to get a result here. That's what I'll call it if we get a draw or a defeat here, but if we get a win, I'll probably call it something different. Ollie Watkins, what a save by Schmeichel. Head it out. And we have just done that. We get our way. We survive a massive scare. I think earlier on in this career, I'd have conceded the goal where it just bobbled up off my keeper, if you can remember that far back. Mings gets ahead of Vardy to... Oh, and then tackle him then. It won't change the player I want to change to. It's a bit annoying, that, really. But... Watkins... Watkins with 15 minutes plus added time to go now exactly. Justin. Unable to keep the ball that time. Oh, he's giving it away to Cash again. He's just been so poor this game. And has he just given them a goal? Thank the Lord he ran that out of play. Oh, Justin just hasn't been up to scratch today. He's given the ball to, away to Cash twice today now. So I'm a bit annoyed by him today. That's a great flick on ball Madison. to Madison. Out to Harvey Barnes there. He has time to play it over. To Tielemans. I couldn't quite get it to Tielemans. Obviously Tielemans and Vardy, the goal scorers. I think Tielemans has now got his uh, like 
shooting up a little bit. Because I know at the start of the career mode he was missing some pretty easy chances. Um, so I've got that up a bit and that's well bad ball there over the top. Uh, I don't really want to risk Tielemans getting a, yellow, a second yellow card and getting himself sent off. I don't even think I've had a sending off this season, which is a positive for my team. That is the time of going, guys, so I'm just going to pause it before we manage to win the header or lose the header. So, I'm just going to start it again. So, I started it again, saved the video too. And we do lose the header because I was not concentrating there. And if they go and score, I'm going to get annoyed. But you've got to do what you've got to do. Everyone has their own ways to film recordings. Johnny Evans. No! No! He switched it, of course! Reality is really kicking in for Leicester City here. Of course, they're going to pick up four points against me for this season. Johnny Evans, what a fluke, man. Seriously, yes, you're quite right, commentators. He should be fine the week's wages for that shocking piece of defending. Seriously, now we're into added time. Can we get grab a goal to send us and get pick up three points? No, of course we can't. Aston Villa hold us to a draw at Villa Park here. And that's a world class as well. That's really disappointing. Aston Villa, probably my Burnley to be fair. If you don't know what that joke means, basically because Burnley seem to be everyone on FIFA. But Aston Villa turning into my Burnley on this career mode. Obviously, they're wearing pretty much the same kit. And that, I mean, we are back into fourth place, I do believe. Oh no, we might actually be fifth. We've got this Europa League game, which I might simulate. Well, I will simulate the first leg of it. The Premier League table, we are up to fourth. Uh, both playing the same amount of games. Man United one point behind me, as you can see there. Wolves three points behind me. They must have lost, did they? Did Wolves lose? Can't really tell. Uh, Wolves lost 1-0 to Crystal Palace. And, but they beat them 2-0 there. Okay, so fair enough. Um, Wolves. Oh, no, actually, Wolves have played one game less, though. As you can see there, I, haven't, I didn't actually read the table properly. So Wolves could actually go above me. If Wolves managed to get a win, because their goal difference is better than me, if Wolves managed to get a victory, they move up into fourth place. And I just find that real unrealistic if Wolves manages to reach the Champions League. I'm not being funny. But I don't really want them to reach the Champions League. I'd rather me reach the Champions League, obviously. Leeds, as you can see, they're still only the one win this season. Looking pretty negative for them. But they're looking pretty much down. So are Fulham and Burnley. I mean, West Brom are still... West Brom, Sheffield United and Brighton still probably in the relegation fight there. But we are getting to the business end of the competition now. Uh, we'll also go ahead and see the Europa League. Any any weird fixtures? I mean, obviously Roma there, Leipzig. That's a tough game for both sides there. Uh, Napoli, Arsenal, Ajax, uh, Leipzig, Mönchengladbach, Real Sociedad, Leverkusen, Hoffenheim, Porto. They're all teams that can probably beat me. So... It's going to be difficult if I want to win the Europa League. And it is going to be very difficult indeed. So I'm going to leave it till next episode to simulate this game. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys. Obviously, next episode we have got this game, which I'll simulate. Then I'll play the Fulham game. Then I will we'll play this game as well. So it might be a longer episode tomorrow. I mean next episode as well so obviously a disappointing two games today only picking up two points out of the two games a uh, two-all draw with Aston Villa and a one-all draw with, with Crystal Palace no clean sheets picked up also disappointing but that is where we're going to end it for today's episode guys if you have enjoyed it go down below hit the subscribe button and smash the like button too tell your friends about this channel so I can help and hopefully they'll like subscribe and hit the like button too so I'll be recommended more on YouTube and all together guys just have a nice day and I'll see you next episode